Hello and welcome to the 112th video by Pale Blue Thoughts. Humans have a lot of preconceived notions of how the world works. Some of these ideas are erroneous and are called misconceptions and they represent the mind's attempt to connect new information with information already stored in memory. Misconceptions may originate from personal experience, imprecise language, lack of examples, media presentation of phenomena, errors in logic, social media forwards, and even books. I intend to start a series on such common misconceptions that are prevalent amongst us. I will start with some popular misconceptions regarding food. Some of these have been debunked earlier on this channel and I will provide the references and links so that you can learn about them in more detail. Before we get into the intro, if you are watching this channel for the first time, please subscribe to this channel, especially if you love listening to scientific ideas and you want your misconceptions and superstitions that you may be holding on to disappear. Let us start with some popular misconceptions revolving around food. I will present 10 to start with. First one, which vegetable has a high iron content? Your first answer might be spinach or palak or chira in Malayalam. Of course, that childhood cartoon of Popeye eating spinach and getting his power might be the cause of this misconception. However, the truth is that spinach does not have a particularly high iron content. The alleged origin of this misconception that it was caused by a decimal point error is also false and the creator of Popeye L.Z. Chrysler Sega never claimed that the source of Popeye's strength was the iron in the spinach, but it's vitamin A. Seeds are not the spicy part of the chilies. In fact, seeds contain a low amount of capsaicin, the component which induces the hot sensation in mammals. The highest concentration of capsaicin is located in the placental tissue or the pith to which the seeds are attached. So removing the seeds from chilies are not going to help in reducing the hotness. You got to remove the pith. Diet has little influence on the body's detoxification and there is no evidence that detoxification diets can rid the body of its toxins. Toxins are removed from the body naturally by the liver and the kidneys. Yet. People pop in pills that claim to detox your kidneys, liver, etc. or follow a specific diet that is claimed to detoxify your body. No evidence has been presented that they work. You don't need to detoxify your liver. Your liver detoxes you. I will bring out a separate video on this detoxification fad later. So please keep watching this channel. Drinking milk or consuming other dairy products does not increase mucus production. As a result, they do not need to be avoided by those with flu or cold congestion. So we reached number 5. Drinking 8 glasses or 2 to 3 liters of water a day is not needed to maintain health. The amount of water needed varies by person to person according to their weight, diet, activity level, clothing and environmental factors such as heat and humidity. Water does not actually need to be drunk in the pure form but can be derived from liquids such as juices, tea, milk, soups etc. and from foods including fruits and vegetables. Sugar does not cause hyperactivity in children. Double blind trials have shown no difference in behavior between children given sugarful or sugar free diets. Even in studies specifically looking at children with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or those considered sensitive to sugar. Monosodium glutamate or MSG does not trigger migraine headaches or other symptoms of the so-called Chinese restaurant syndrome nor is there evidence that some individuals are especially sensitive to MSG. We had done an episode on MSG or Ajinomoto earlier and I will post the link above and below in the description box. Alcoholic beverages do not make the entire body warmer. 
alcoholic drinks create the sensation of warmth because they cause blood vessels to dilate and stimulate nerve endings near the surface of the skin with an influx of warm blood. This can actually result in making the core body temperature lower as it allows for easier heat exchange with a cold external environment. While there is some evidence that organic produce has potential health benefits, there are no definite conclusions. When compared with conventionally farmed produce, organic produce has the same vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, proteins, lipids and other nutrients as well as the same number of calories. Simply put, the health benefits of organic food are still unclear. There isn't any long-term conclusive evidence that consuming organic products can improve health or lower disease risk, according to a 2012 Stanford University study published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. Gluten is a protein found in grains like wheat, barley, rye and some oats. If you do not have a sensitivity to gluten or have been diagnosed with celiac disease, there is no reason to avoid gluten in your diet. Coliac disease or celiac disease is a chronic multiple organ autoimmune disorder primarily affecting the small intestine caused by the ingestion of gluten found in wheat, barley etc. that appears in some genetically predisposed people. However, the number of such people are generally around 1-2% to of the general population. What is more, a research published in May 2015 in the journal Digestion shows that among people who believed they were sensitive to gluten. 86% could eat it just fine. Unless you have celiac disease or a gluten sensitivity, you can continue to cook foods with gluten such as whole grains. I will come up with a more detailed view of this fad too later, so keep a lookout for that. So that's it. 10 misconceptions busted in under 10 minutes. How many of these did you carry? Please comment and let me know. If you want to hear more scientific facts like these and start to think scientifically, Please subscribe to this channel. Please do comment, hit like or share this video for the benefit of others. Each of your actions helps this information to reach to many others. That is how the YouTube algorithm works. So please do at least one of these, even if it is a dislike. Until I see you with yet another informative video, it's bye bye from Paid Blue Thoughts.